including a Caltech CP33. Okay, so first we're gonna check that it's clear. Okay, it's all clear. Then we're gonna flip it over to this other side and punch this little pin out here. I'm gonna punch it out all the way. Okay, and then the, the bottom is gonna completely slide off from the top. And then you're gonna flip the top part upside down and then pull on essentially the charging handle and then everything is gonna come apart from that point. Okay, as you can see, everything is pretty darn dirty. Uh, so we're just gonna spray every face that's on the inside and down the barrel with Ballistol is what is my choice. Okay, wiping it off isn't rocket science. We're just gonna wipe off every accessible face. I just like to use paper towels because I don't little fuzzies ain't gonna gum, gum up your gun too much. So uh, just wipe off every face and then we're gonna use some tools to clean out uh, some deeper pockets. Okay, I like to take a nylon brush and then just really scrub the heck out of things because especially if it's super dirty, it's hard to see on this guy, but there's some really some crud buildup on there as well. So we're gonna have to really scrub this stuff, uh, especially the bolt, the face of the bolt, um, all in here along the rails. We're gonna scrub in there. We're gonna scrub down here a little bit, and then we're gonna scrub uh, here in this kind of the uh, slide. It's not really a slide, it doesn't slide, but the top part. Okay, after scrubbing everything down with a toothbrush, we're gonna wipe everything off with some paper towels. I really had to scrub this back part. It was super filthy. On the charging handle was super, there was a ton of carbon buildup. I mean, this thing, this gun was filthy. Okay, another place carbon really likes to build up on this guy is in the top of this slide rail or underneath this rail. So I've scrubbed out pretty good. I even ha got a wire brush and kind of got in there. Uh, but yeah, you gotta scrub that really good because that's what, your bolt interfaces with the top on the top. So if that's not clean, it's not gonna cycle that great. Okay, for the barrel, I like to just take some paper, uh, paper towel, kind of twist it up and shove it in there. If you can get the whole thing, great. If not, just cut it and then shove it in. Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna take this and just shove that thing in there. Okay, I'm gonna shove that through. And as you can see, the barrel's not horrible. Barrels usually don't get too, too bad. Okay, so this is what everything looks like cleaned um, after you wipe it down. You definitely need a toothbrush. I actually like using a brass, brass brush for places that get a butt ton of carbon buildup. Places that I notice specifically are um, back here, kind of in your fire control group, and then right on this back plate here. And then the other place, and this is even more critical, is in the top of, I'm just gonna call this your slide, is right here on the top of the slide. Um, and that's where your bolt is sliding. So that's actually really important to scrub the heck out of that. What the manual recommends you do is you get a little bit of gun oil, put it on like a patch, and then we're just gonna wipe kind of all these insides with a light coat of gun oil. Okay, so that's it for cleaning and lubrication as far as the manual recommends. I like to also grab a little bit of grease and then on any part that is moving a lot, I'm gonna put a little dab of grease that's gonna be up here anything um, put it here just this this bolt moves a ton there this little groove here you can obviously see it's been rubbing right there okay so i got everything greased up so you're gonna take your bolt flip it upside down and the little charging handle and then this little thing is going to notch back in there and then you're going to have to compress the spring just a hair to get that front part in and that kind of all sits together as one group and then it's going to slide into the slide just like that. And then this, make sure your hammer is down. It's gonna slide onto this part, just like that. Then we can put the pin back in. I like to use just like a little nylon hammer, pound that back in. Okay, and then the cycle's way better than it used to. And then I'm gonna wipe just the whole outside of the gun down. Okay, and then once it's wiped down, that is how you clean a Keltec CP33. If you have any comments or questions, put it in the comment section below. Okay guys, as always, Thanks for watching.